There's no denying it's been a tough year for the travel industry, but experts now say people are starting to book vacations again and more are getting back on planes. News Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty has a closer look. More than a year into the coronavirus pandemic, air travel is taking off again. Each week as we see more and more people uh, getting vaccinated, uh, we are definitely seeing an uptick in uh, in traffic. The Portland Jetport says there has been a nearly 45% increase in the number of passengers since last week. We're still down 40-45% uh, from 2019, uh, but it's, it's a nice increase from uh, the, the negative 60, uh, negative 60% range. Vacation bookings are also on the rise. It is nice after 12 months of very little activity to see folks wake up and say, I'm ready to go. And it almost always starts with, I have my second shot appointment on X date, or I just got my second shot and I want to go somewhere. Renee Sheenberger of Direct Travel in Portland says there has been a steady increase in the number of people booking vacations in the last two weeks. We see a lot of interest in, if it's not short term, for a Q4 of 2021. That's your October through December window, Thanksgiving uh, holiday season. He advises people to book now to places where you feel comfortable going. What ends up happening is pricing goes up and inventory shrinks. We already have some periods of the year, Thanksgiving week, for example, where a lot of resorts are full. And so if you snooze, you lose. Meanwhile, the Jetport says the increase is mostly tied to April break and expects to see another uptick between Memorial Day and Labor Day, depending on the pandemic. Roslyn Flaherty, New Center, Maine. Now the U.S. CDC says people who are fully vaccinated can travel safely within the United States. Airports aren't the only places seeing more passengers. The executive director at Northern New England Passenger Rail Authority says ridership has started to rebound as travel restrictions are lifted. She also says college students are riding more as campuses start to reopen. Over the course of time, it's really starting to, to, to really make a difference. So December and January were really kind of the, the, the low threshold for us in terms of ridership. We were only at about 10% of the riders that we had carried for December and January in 2019. We saw that number grow to about 19% in February and now um, in, in, into March. And now it's month to date in April, we're about 27% of April of 2019. Quinn says the Amtrak down Easter will be adding another round trip on the schedule in the next few weeks. So keep an eye out for that trip to Boston.